Well, here we are today on the uh, 19th day of March, 2010, and today we're going to film a, one of the nicest tractors we've ever restored, a 1949 Farmall M. And uh, as you may or may not know, uh, Farmall made the M's from 1939 into early 1952 when they came out with the Super M's, but they made thousands and thousands of these tractors through the 40s and early 50s. One of the most popular tractors of all time, and this this tractor here happens to be one of the nicest ones we've ever restored. It came from a farm auction down near Quincy, Illinois. We've had it all oh, probably three years or so now, and we've had it in two or three parades, and always get uh, great comments on it, how straight and nice and smooth it is. And it does have uh, extremely nice tin work on it, and all original tin. Uh, the person that owned this in the past apparently took excellent care of it, kept it shedded, and, and uh, we restored this tractor from one end to the other, uh, complete engine overhaul, new clutch, uh, radiator, generator uh, rebuilt, and starter, and all that, and many, many new parts on there, seals in the hydraulic pump, and, and uh, completely restored this tractor. Transmission, brakes, everything's been redone, and uh, I'm going to get it out here and show you a a view of it from all the different uh, sides of it, the front, rear, and, and left and right sides, and, and then I'll point out some of the optional things that it happens to have with it. We have a little breeze here today coming out of the southwest, but it's a beautiful day and uh, supposed to get up to 65 uh, degrees, although tomorrow they're anticipating some uh, light snow that we may get in here, a little colder temperatures, but today is just a wonderful day and uh, we're looking forward to spring coming here shortly, but uh, I got the tractor out of the shed here just enough to cut the uh, wind that's blowing so you won't hear that in the uh, filming of this, but you'll notice uh, it does have in place of the original type muffler does have a chrome uh, stack on it which really sets it off and uh, it makes it sound like a big big horse with all that exhaust noise coming through that straight pipe but uh, it can be replaced fairly easy with a regular muffler if a person chooses that it also has the uh, optional belt pulley and this happens to be the metal one uh, a lot of the fellows use these belt pulleys way back in the in time there with uh, belt jobs such as uh, we always used to grind feed on our farm with to belt up the old hammer mill and uh, use the belt pulley there to turn it with and then the tractor also has a set of uh, rear weights on it one set of weights which most of them used uh, these were a good uh, three bottom tractor back in their day and uh, you'll notice it's got various new parts on there steering wheel gauges and things it does have the the standard 540 rpm power takeoff and you'll notice how good the uh, drawbar looks yet it's been well maintained in the hole here in the end of it we haven't welded it up or anything it's the original hole in the end of that drawbar and it's it's uh, wallered just a little bit but you think about all the years that tractor's been used and the hard work it's done that's not bad and uh, I didn't put the battery box on here it is kind of a tight uh, box to put underneath there and, and the battery had gone down so I just set the battery underneath the tank there but I got a, a brand new battery box that goes with it and of course uh, the only thing that's really not new on this tractor is the tires and these were uh, tires from back in the uh, 60s but they're still uh, they show some weather checks but they're in good shape yet and so we didn't replace those with new ones sometimes the buyers of a bio tractor and want a certain brand of Firestone maybe a good year or, or good rich or something but uh, these are the only uh, things on here that's not new, but I'll stand up here on the draw bar and show you down over the hood. And we may have just a little bit overkill on this paint job. We used a bit more of the hardener on it, and it does give it the 
the wet look a little bit brighter maybe perhaps than when this tractor was brand new back in 49 but uh, it's in excellent excellent condition we did uh, put a mat here on the where your feet will set to keep mud and things off of there and uh, just kind of protect that area a little bit that's not a piece of get is optional but something we put on there and I'll go on around here to the right side and get up to the front of it has the original uh, type belly pump you'll notice uh, there under the tractor the uh, part that they used for the cultivators and, and corn pickers and things that uh, that the hydraulic would supply power for to raise and lower things and notice how straight the tin is up front here you'll hardly find an old M anymore that's 60 years old or better that uh, is this nice some of them are even 70 years old now and older but this is truly a, a really a nice M and uh, we do have a new seat cushion that goes on there also that's the original seat that was on the tractor and there you have that all Start it up one more time. You'll you notice how clean everything is on it. I mean, it, this tractor's had excellent care, and of course we sandblasted it and primed and painted it before we uh, finished the job on it. But it's it is a truly a nice one. Give it a little bit of throttle. Make sure it's in neutral because I'm standing here behind it. 